Hey, 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 welcome back to Mirror Expressions, where I take the time to share a little bit of myself with you all. And I invite y'all in to do the same with me. Before we get started, y'all go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Go right on over to your right, press that subscribe button, and then drop down into the chat and leave me a mirror emoji if you are doing okay. And if you're not, if you have looked in a mirror and you're not feeling A1 with what you see looking back at you, and that's okay. We have those days. I want to encourage you to do what you must, though, to get back to a healthier you. All right. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and get into this review and recap of Abbott Elementary. Y'all know this is one of my favorite, favorite shows. I just love it. It's just a feel good show and i love to have this type of show in the type of world we are living in right now you know what i'm saying this is season two episode five and it is called juice <laughs> right so it opens up we see jacob in ava's office and he's asking her are there cameras that point to the back to the bike rack outside and she's just like no but it's some um, pointed in the car line so i can see what that's drive the nice cars the expensive cars oh goodness and so uh he mentions you know that his bike is stolen and that he's he's spotted an unfamiliar guy walking around and so Y'all know how Jacob is in this whole, <laughs> I don't know, like, uh, let me just go ahead and tell you what happened. So, ooh, Chad. So, he says he's seen the unfamiliar guy. So, Ava's like, well, can you describe him? And so, yeah, he trying to describe a black guy without saying he's black. And <laughs> talking about... Well, he might have some curly hair. <laughs> Here go, Ava. Would you describe him as someone who may have difficulty getting along? <laughs> Jacob was just like, you know what? Just forget it. Just forget it. You know, who really owns anything these days anyway? <laughs> <laughs> and maybe he just walk away, throwing his little helm into the laws of hell. Oh, I was tickled. Opening scene tickled. Oh, my goodness. I love this show. Anyway, y'all. So, the episode about Juice. And we see Janine. She done attended this lunch committee meeting, right? I think they said they hold it once a year. And they open it to everybody to come, but everybody know not to come. They just let the, the lunch people handle the lunch stuff. And so here goes Janae. Y'all know she just a busy body. She gonna try to be everywhere and in everything. So she attended the meeting and she uh proposed that they change the juice that they're drinking to this other juice that gives them two ounces more it is uh it has less sugar and the uh juice con uh content is higher right so she's just like oh this is a win-win we need to go to these juices right and so in the break room janine is just telling everybody about the juice and how they all need to get behind her and getting it changed and everybody else was just like pretty much like uh yeah no <laughs> and basically barbara was just like if it ain't broke don't fix it a new project means new problems and sure enough that's what they end up having right and so over in melissa class y'all know she got that a uh uh ashley last time right so we see her a and a is just playing with the children like <laughs> she is not assisting in the classroom like she is literally 
not just playing with the children. She's acting like one of the children. I'm just like, oh. And the aide in her confessional lets us know that uh, she's very sought after. That's why she's been in four different schools in four months. I said, probably because your attention span is as long as these children. <laughs> and you think you're one of them. <laughs> So, at lunch, we see all the kids drinking this juice, right? That Janine has really pushed for. And you know Janine likes to brag. She was just like, she goes up to Barbara. And she's just like, uh, you see, I won. And uh, Barbara's just like, I don't know what you want because uh, my kids won't be drinking the juice. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and so, uh, Janine was like, well, all the kids seem to be loving it, you know. And so, um, Melissa ends up, as far as when it comes to Ashley, she said, you know, she's going to make a plan for it. So, she ends up giving her this checklist, which Ashley ain't paying no, no attention to. She is just disregarding it. Um, and she's, you know, we see her still acting like one of the students. So, Melissa ends up going to see Ava about it. And y'all know Ava, baby. That thing was in her office doing a live. <laughs> the dog on Ava tickles me. Baby, she was on a live. <laughs> selling my cheese. I don't laugh so much already. Selling her clothes. <laughs> Out of her office, like who does that? <laughs> who does that? Oh my goodness, y'all! So, <laughs> Melissa too in the walking into the view of the camera, right? Somebody go, cause you know they're live, so people are coming. In. Somebody go come in. Who is that white woman? <laughs> Oh, child. Oh, tickle me. So, anyway. <clears throat> anyway, y'all, I'm sorry. Melissa is a telling Ava that, you know, Ashley ain't working out. She's like, you know, I get less work done when she's there than when she's not there, you know, and her point of being there is to assist me. And so, Ava is just like, you know, I come to the classroom and um, check it out for myself, right? So, over with Janine, we see her in her class with her students. And all of a sudden, everybody needs to go to the bathroom, including Janine, right? And so, when they get to the bathroom, they they run up on uh, Gregory's class, who was already there, and all of his students had to go too. And so, Mr. Jones, Mr. Johnson points out it's their new juice that all of them be, been drinking. Because it's a whole lot that Gregory said they had already been there waiting for 15 minutes to go in and out. I said, well, damn, how many stalls do they have in their bathrooms? But anyway, he said, them extra two ounces means 200 more trips to the bathroom. So, you know, they all looking at Janine like, <laughs> you the one brought to do juice up in here. So the bathroom is a breaking when one of the little girl goes in. And so everybody has to now go use the bathrooms upstairs on the second floor. And so Bob comes along. She's just like, well, I would say I told you so, but <laughs> I'm too classy for that. So here go, Janine. Well, you didn't tell me this was going to happen, you know. And so Bob is like, but I tried to tell you if it ain't broke. Don't fix it, right? So they start complaining how going having to go upstairs to the second floor is gonna be too much for the kids, and so they end up asking Barbara, "Hey, do you still have that kindergarten bathroom in your room?" And she's just like, "Yeah," and so she's like, "Uh," so they was like, "Well, can we use it?" And um. So Barbara ends up saying, yeah, here go Mr. Johnson talking some thank goodness, thank goodness as he runs off. And here go Barbara, it's for the kids. And he said, I'm a kid at heart. 
Oh, so we see Melissa back in her classroom and she's trying to teach the children about the bones, right? Bones in the body. And y'all, Ashley <laughs> is messing with the little skeleton. You know how they be having like a standard skeleton. So she's messing with the skeleton, right? And she making the skeleton dance on the song. Body yada 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 yada. <laughs> Bone skin. <laughs> I was just like, see, see, you doing too much. But hey, so like that, songs have been proven to help kids learn. Like when I was teaching my babies, and I say my babies because I used to uh watch a couple of kids in the neighborhood. When I was teaching them how to uh uh spell their name and stuff i said it to a song i made up a song for each of them so hey it works it works <laughs> but anyway when she was doing all that ava walks in and y'all know ava so ava started dancing with them and then she's just like hey that shirt looks like my shirt. And so, Ashley's just like, yeah, I got this off of so-and-so and so-and-so. And Ava was like, yeah, girl, that's me. You got to follow me on my new page. They made me shut that one down. I'm like, oh, my goodness. So, the two of them are literally back there talking about clothes and body, yada, 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 yada. <laughs> Y'all know Melissa is <laughs> y'all know she was oh my goodness and so Barbara oh yeah <laughs> Barbara's trying to teach her class and the people keep interrupting her by coming in and out the classroom to use the bathroom either they coming in just making noises or their students see one of her students and want to go run and hug and talk to them. So, yeah, so Barbara's getting frustrated with all of this. So, now a whole line has formed in her room because the bathroom, like I said, is in her is in her classroom. And so, uh, one of her, uh, Barbara's students end up like, I need to go to the bathroom. So, Barbara tells him, you know, to get in line. And he's just like, I can't wait. I can't hold it. And so, Barbara ends up taking him to the front of the line. And so, everybody was just like, that's not fair. <laughs> then the baby get to skip the line. And uh, Barbara's just like, he's a kindergarten. What ain't fair is for my students to have to pay for your new shoes. <laughs> and so, she ends up kicking them all out or whatever. And telling them to leave and they just gonna have to go on use their bathroom up on the second floor or whatnot. Right. So <clears throat> Melissa, we see her still complaining to Ava about Ash. And she's just like, like right now, I don't even know where she is. She's supposed to be prepping for class. And she even talked about how the girl done painted eyeballs on her eyelids so that uh, she can sleep in the class. <laughs> what ain't does that? First of, first of all, who's going to go as far as to paint eyeballs on the eyelids, baby? Tickle me. And so um, she's talking about, she complaining <laughs> about the music and all that. And, um, she go, um, uh, Ava, I took you for a spicy one. <laughs> yeah, that just took me. That took me so, oh my goodness. Anyway, she don't know where Ashley is. She looking for it. And so Ava does because Ashley is now assisting Ava. <laughs> and so she ends up calling her on the phone. And so when she does, she uh answers Ava immediately. So then Melissa snatches the phone and just like, uh, you get down here right now. <laughs> and so they end up getting in a tussle about 
who uh Ashley should be working for because baby Ashley showed up and she done uh did this, that, and the other for Ava. And so Melissa's kind of wondering, like, well, why doesn't she do things for me when I ask her to, right? <clears throat> and so um uh we end up seeing her talking to Jacob about that, right? And so I'm kind of jumping ahead, I think, anyway. So, but yeah. And um, so Jacob tells her, you know, that it's because Ava engages with Ashley and Melissa does it. So now Melissa's kind of getting in her head that, you know, she's going to have to engage with a uh, Ashley more to get her to do what she would like for her to do as well. <clears throat> so over with Janine and Gregory. They're about to take their classes upstairs to the bathroom. And we see them complaining. Where they end up devising a plan to go ahead and use and use the bathroom in Barbara's classroom. Because Barbara is on her planning break. She's not in the classroom. And, she, and they're like, you know, we would help her if she needed it. So they sneak into the classroom and use the bathroom. And next thing you know, that toilet gets broken. <laughs> <laughs> which in turn knocks out the system on the second floor. So the second floor bathroom side broken. <laughs> oh. So now they have to go all the way up to the third floor to the bathroom up there. And they will not have help until next week. I said, oh, child. <laughs> so we see uh Barbara comes in and she's mad that they using the bathroom, blah blah blah. So anyway, we see them later on. Barbara's upstairs with her class at the on the third floor, and so we see Janine coming up, and so she all out of breath, <sighs> you know, and she tries to apologize to Barbara and um Barbara's like, I tried to tell you no, but you wouldn't listen. And so, um, Janine, and she's, um, wait a minute. So then she goes on to tell Janine, you know, like I have five-year-olds asking me why all day. Like, I don't feel like I need to do the same thing with some grown people. I don't have to answer why all the freaking time. And so Janine is just like, well, sometimes we do need to know the why. <clears throat> if you tell us the answers, if you just tell us the answers, we won't know how to solve the problems, right? And I get that very valid. So, Barbara said, you know, that she never had someone to show her the tricks of the trade when she was coming out. And so, Janine mentions that she just can't believe that the uh, people won't come out for a whole week just because there is still one working bathroom in the beer building. And so, Barbara is like, Janine... Now is when you fix something when it's broken. So, <laughs> Baba uh, goes down <laughs> and she ends up getting a bat <laughs> from Melissa and she takes it back up to the bathroom. All we know is she goes in and she comes out and that bathroom is too broken. <laughs> and so her thing is now they have to come out because we have no working bathrooms in the school. <laughs> and then she politely hands the bat to Janine and tells her to get rid of it. <laughs> they do, however, come to like a, a mutual agree is that she was set aside an hour once a month to kind of impart some knowledge to those new teachers or whatever. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> we see that Jacob is complaining how he had to go to the corner to the corner store to go use the bathroom. And he's just like, they made me buy something before they would even give me the code to the bathroom. And so they're in a uh, break room talking about this, right? 
And so Ava is in there too. And Ava is just like, yeah, that's so terrible. How, how awful, how horrible that is. And then they see, you know, <laughs> we see her sneaking down to the basement. Baby, she got this lavish bathroom <laughs> just decked out. Talking about, if you ask me, do I have a bidet? I would say, <laughs> I would do. <laughs> so she can't be giving away all her secrets, though. And it's only accessed by a code. I said, that dog on Ava, she is a mess. Y'all, but that was the end of the episode. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's all I can say. I love this show. Anyway, let me know your highlights from this show. That uh, <laughs> if I have a bidet, if they ask you I have a bidet, I would say I bidu. <laughs> and that and that dog on Janine, she gonna always put her nose somewhere. Like she is just not getting it. Like sometimes they leave well enough alone. But anyway, y'all. I love this show. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let me know what you think. And I'm signing off right here. As always, I'll pray for you all. Y'all, please pray for me. And what? Peace out.